everybody welcome back to Sharon from Vivid, Vivid Days. I'm about to start working on this huge silicone mold which can be either a placemat or a standalone piece of art. I am starting to work on my composition but I will be wearing my mask through this video because I've been working with resin a lot today so I need to protect myself. I will probably mix up 500 mils of resin which you might think might be excessive but that's going to take a huge amount of resin to fill this i might decide to only do it halfway and then just fill the top with clear but i do have some bookmarks ready to go so i have applied my sand and some of the white stones i'm going to apply my resin and then probably bring the stones up and then put um the shellfish the starfish on top in the shells and then I'll graduate my colours back. I am going to enter some of my little gems, just the shoreline here. Uh, and I'm going to be using my Peebo usual uh, colours that I use for my acrylics. If you want to know what they are, pop over to video 107, which is my tutorial. And I have some colour quality sparkling white that's different. That I'll be adding to my resin just to give that little sparkle of the ocean. And for my white, I will be using the Wave Pro and the Casting Craft. So other than that, you're just going to sit back, listen to some music and watch me in my creative process while I put my mask on. So I'm sure you'll forgive me for doing that. And if you've got any questions, you know what to do. But the full process is in video 107.
bring it in to have a little look. Look at my little jellyfish there. Just gonna see how I feel about this. I think I might blend this in a little bit. But while we're here, I might do that now. it up a little bit make it look like it's churning Sorry. I don't think I want to be able to get it any better than I am in this mould as it is, but I'm curious now when I take it out what I'm going to think because my waves are definitely not how I normally like them, but I do like the stillness of this and jellyfish on the store like shoreline. Not too sure if I actually like that, but I'll wait and see and this is about sharing with you. Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. We are going to unmold this. Now as it's cured, it's kept pretty much what I wanted, but I'm not 100% sold on the design piece because normally I like my oceans to be a little bit more realistic. So we're going to unmold it, we're going to have a look what we're left with. There's some nice sort of ideas in here. I think it's more execution and the amount of resin it takes on this is quite a lot but i know that i am going to have to dome this so what i am going to contemplate is when i dome it should i dome it just in clear or should i dome it until uh, so that there is like a wave wave foam in here creating a little bit more depth and movement but let's um mold this and see how easy now this mold has been used before <laughs> as you can tell but I've not used it often. I only used it once before and that was a fail. Uh, user error on my part. It's going to be a full glitter piece. But I'm hoping that I can stand this in a window and let you see the sunshine for it. Ooh. So my fear was, has this held up at the back? Because there's a lot of sand in there and I didn't put resin underneath. Now you can see there's a little bit of where the resin hasn't met underneath, so there is a little bit of dimpling, but that's okay. What I can do is apply a very thin coat of resin down there. But other than that, that's the only really imperfection. Now the back, it's nothing sexy. It looks quite interesting. It looks like there's lots of teeth there. <laughs> anyway, let's flip it and look at the edges. So around the edges, a little bit of that glitter that's just come off. I'll just sand that off, sand that back. But I do like this part here. Now there is a slight texture from the mold there, but that's okay. Little bits of stuff I've got, and you can see that tiny little lip there. So what I will do is sand the edges back and then come in and do, but Let's have a little close up of if this was held up in the window. I wonder if I put a little bit of light behind it. So if I put a bit of light behind it, are you going to be able to see a little bit more of how transparent that is? So as far as my oceans go, I'm not a lover of this one. However, I love the design concept here. I love all this clearness. It looks like you've got water trapped here. The shells, the starfish, the pebbles. 
some of the white ge the gems that I added there, I don't like what it's done. It's created this weird texture. And what I thought might have looked like glass in the water. Um, they've just all floated and done the own thing. I need to come back and give a top coat of a, uh, a darker colour over here to give that sense of movement and definitely come in with a bit of white foam here. But what I'm going to try and do is leave it here. So come back and we're going to see if I can improve this so that I'm happy. So I'm going to sand around the edges and I'm going to add that top layer and then we're going to come back. But imagine this in your window on a freestanding easel, a beautiful standalone piece that if you put it in the window, the sun's going to catch behind it and really makes you feel like you've just got water. So there, in my opinion anyway, but it's definitely too thick to be a placemat, in my opinion. <laughs> but maybe I could have done it thinner. Anyway, I'm Sharon, I'm digressing. Let's come back and see when I add the top coat of this. It has potential. I need to clean these off so I don't get my glitter there. Anyway, let's move on to the next stage. prepared my resin I've sanded down lightly the top of this in the edges I'm going to dome it now with some of the uh, ocean blue from color me happy and I'm going to use the white and I've added a little bit of super sparkle white into the resin so I envisage just a deeper color here and then as it fizzles out into here but let's do this and let's hopefully finish this piece and jobs are good
use my messy workstation i have done this and i feel that i have added value to it and that's where i want to leave it now so so stop saying so i believe that i've got some movement in there and that should continue to just bleed out into each other and move i've kept my foam soft this time which is unusual for me but i just felt this piece needed it and i do love how you can see those shells starfish is going under a little bit but not a lot it's just lapping on there tiny little bit of jellyfish under there but i'm glad i brought in the color me happy tones to bring it to where i was happy anyway let's see what this looks like on curing cross your finger it stays as it is and i'll see you in the blink of an eye hi everybody welcome back to sharon from vivid days this piece is finished and i love it i'm going to try and bring you in and show you a little bit of detail i'm sorry that you are going to get a little bit of high shine there is a lot of glitter in here so it sparkles so depending on when the light's capturing it but i love this i love the tranquility of it and the waves are very gentle for me and i love how you get to see that peeping through some of those shells starfish and some of those white stones there in that sand it really does feel like you've captured the ocean Anyway, what I am going to do is stand it up in its easel so you can see that this can be a freestanding form of art. And it also gives you a little bit of a different feel. Now, depending on if you put it on the windowsill, you can see it's quite transparent. You can see the um, easel behind it. Now, you might not like that or you might like that. Totally up to you. You can stand some card behind it so that you're going to get the, um, you know, the solid back sorry <laughs> so you're going to get the solid background or you can enjoy just seeing the transparency of this piece and you can sort of leave it freestanding on your desk on your windowsill or just somewhere that you want to enjoy this piece now i'm going to stand up and see if i can get you to see the sparkle and i apologize if you might feel a bit dizzy so i'm going to just pick you up and I'm going to see where I can see the sparkle. Maybe there? Maybe not. What I might do is get my torch. But there is a lot of movement in there in the ocean, but at the same time it's still. And I love the blending of that dark green down to the turquoise and that white. Anyway, let me put it back and let me try a different way for you to see. I was told my torch, I'm going to run the torch over it. Well, you just got the sun come through so you get to see it even more. How cool is that? Looks like there's shadows being cached on the ocean from, let's say, from uh, um, the jetty. Oh, there you go. So you get to see the sparkle, but you're also getting to see my torch. But look how that sparkles. So, so when you're carrying it or moving it around or different lights, this ocean comes to life from the sparkle. Sorry, you see more of the torch there. Let me angle it this way. Maybe that way. No, I can never angle my torch for you. You can never do justify, I think, showcasing your resin. Only when you get the torch in at the right angle, you get to see it. Anyway, I'm Sharon, I'm digressing. Thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome remember to pop back and see me and i hope that you are going to have the most amazing 2020